I just arrived at the airport and usually I dread airports. Um, I am I just don't get excited to fly, but to be honest, <laughs> when your flight's only 30 minutes and you're island hopping, it's really not that bad and it's something to look forward to. So I fasted 42 hours, uh, I went ahead and had lunch, and I would say that I had like less than I normally eat, but I overdid it. It was so strange, like I, I guess my stomach had shrunk over the last 42 hours, full to the point where like I felt uncomfortable I would say. I just drugged down my energy, like my energy was so, so high, and then I would say I kind of feel on top of it, slightly nauseous. I don't know if it smells like rushing to the airport or something that I ate made me feel this way. Basically, I would just, you know, say that my energy was like such top notch. I was just like energized, like top, top of my game. And then I ate, and then it just came crashing down. And all I had was eggs, ground beef, cheese, eggs, coconut, and peanut butter, butter, and that was pretty much it. So gonna or, uh, take this flight here just a few minutes, headed off to St. Thomas. Oh, another funny thing I wanted to mention was the fact that so I brought like all my salts in a bag and it was actually from my previous trip and so it was really convenient to just grab that bag that had all the salts in it. They, they, they pull you aside. I mean, every time I've carried salt, they pulled me aside. And so I had basically three bags of all the salts and then I had like this white cylinder thing of the no salts. And so he grabbed that, opened it up and he didn't even ask me, okay? And he basically sprinkled it on like these two white pieces of paper. And then he put like this blue dye and this clear dye like on two separate things. I was going to videotape it, but I couldn't get my phone out fast enough. And I had never seen that before. So interesting. Uh, just be prepared that if you travel with salts, TSA will probably think you got the cocaine.